Okay guys, one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I started my lawn care business the first year or two was not being super aggressive and super proactive on lawns whenever I saw issues that were starting to pop up on a client's property. For example, they had mulch installed and then in our area, dude, like literally a few weeks later or a month later, you're going to have weeds start to germinate. Like this just is what it is. You can sprinkle the pre-emergent, you can do the deal, but that's that's one example. And here's the thing, I would just kind of let it go and be like, well, they'll just call me whenever they want the weeds pulled. That was a bad mistake and that's, that's not what we do anymore. Uh, another example would be like the hedges would started to be getting overgrown and I'd look at it and be like, okay, well, you know, they're probably gonna call me here in a little bit, you know, want the hedges done. And sure enough, they'd call me like three months later and they'd, you know, kind of upset at how bad the hedges look. Um, and, and then, and then for us, it's a massive cleanup that I'm having to explain to them like, hey, this is not like a maintenance hedge trim. This is like, dude, we're taking like three or four feet off these lower pedlums. Like this is kind of a big deal. The flower bed weeds, hedges, like crepe myrtles that need to be pruned. All these little knick-knack things, man, like if, that if you just are kind of like hands off and it's like, well, the client will contact me whenever they need it, it's gonna come back and bite you. And I want to tell you how whenever I change that, it, it just, it just, it changed the business for the better. Number one, it, it made us look better. Like whenever I, I saw that something was needing to be done, I literally, I started like, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm reaching out to them and telling them, hey, we need to do the flower beds and this is the price to have it done. That does a couple things. Number one, it shows that you are actually paying attention on the lawn and you're proactive. Number two, it goes ahead and sets the precedent of like, you put it in the client's lap and that is the key, that is important. At this point, the ball has shifted like into their court. You said it needs to be done. You, you've acknowledged that there's a problem. You've said, I've got the solution, we're gonna do it. Here is the price for us to get it done, all right? At that point, if they say no, so what? Like, <laughs> you know, you can wash your hands of it. It's on them at that point, okay? So number one, it makes you look more professional. Number two is it keeps your properties looking nice, dude. Like, I hate showing up to a property and like you, the clients won't ever let you do flower bed work. They don't ever let you trim hedges or pull weeds or anything like that. And then, you know, you're mowing the lawn, the lawn looks great. And I, I showed y'all that video of that one lady that I've been sending an estimate to you for seven years. She's just, she don't want no part of it. But my point is, is like, if you're proactive on that stuff and you're constantly just maintaining it, the properties just look nicer and it's much easier to do those maintenance tasks than it is to have a massive cleanup. Dude, if you let flower bed weeds go in our area for like a few months, like, like a quarter, like three months, you, you might as well just start over. Like, it, it, they go absolutely out of control. And it's kind of hard to tell the client like, hey, you know, we did a mulch job, you know, three or four months ago for you, but now you got weeds everywhere in your bed again. Um, and, and, you know, I thought you were gonna reach out to us, you know, if you wanted this to maintain it. No, no, put it on them. Say, hey, this needs to be done. You need to get on a maintenance program for this and here's the price to do it. And finally, and this is a big one, maybe maybe the biggest, like if, if, you, if you care about profit and, and money, like, you can increase the value of your client by up to 40 to 50% easy, no questions asked, sometimes double, but a minimum, a minimum, minimum, 40 to 50%. I don't know what your client is worth to you throughout the year, but suppose they were worth $100,000. Let's just say you had 100 clients worth $1,000 a year, so $100,000, that, that's, that's what your clients are worth to you. If you could increase the value of that client by 40, you can, you can easily put another forty to fifty thousand dollars in your pocket at the end of the year. This is no postcard marketing from Five Arounds. Plug for Turf Pros Academy if you need that. I got that ready for you. Put here it is right here. There's no Facebook ads. There's no Google ads. These are your clients. They are already your clients, man. And you can increase the value of them by forty to fifty percent. Like, why would we not do that? Being proactive on some people call them upsells. I call it just doing a good job for your clients. Look. Being proactive on that stuff, it solves problems for your business. It increases the value of the client, it makes those tasks way easier, and then finally, it just makes the properties look nicer. Whenever you are out mowing grass this league, I challenge you, get aggressive. Look at these properties, start looking at them with a different eye, saying, what can I do here to be more professional, to reach out to my client and tell them that we can take care of these things. It just solves so many problems for your business. I challenge you this week, look out with a keen eye on your clients' properties.